giving the stream about four seconds to get started, and when it does, I will break in with my traditional, uh, dun dun dun, hello, and welcome to the stream. Um, I am talking with someone on Discord who only speaks Arabic, uh, which is a language that people speak in, I think, Arabia, but maybe some other places as well. Um, unfortunately, he just said something that I don't really necessarily want to quote, so maybe we, we will save that for later. Um, I have invited everyone from yesterday that I could, that's in this, in my Discord. Yeah, okay. So now he said two things that, I think I'm going to quote this now, two things that are pretty, pretty damn offensive. Um, one is he said that he's retarded, and of course we don't use that word anymore, we say challenged. Um, but then he said, I like being retarded, girls like it. Um, which I, I, don't, I don't know if that's actually, I mean, I guess you, I mean, if someone who were able-bodied and able-minded were to pretend to be mentally disabled to get with girls, I mean, I, you know, I see where it's immoral, but at the same time, I'm thinking about doing it. So really can't, um, really can't judge people too much there. Uh, and uh, Water Drink has pointed out that the Arabic language is spoken in ISIS. So again, we just go straight to terrorism in this stream whenever possible. Um, now, I know the Arabic people uh, write their language incorrectly um, because they don't know English. So we will look at this, and I'm pretty sure that if I do something like... Uh, uh, da -da -da -da, you will notice that it comes up in... Oh, also, they, they, they read backwards. Uh, they're backwards people who read backwards. So they read left, right to left. So, oh, good. There is sort of a, a little bit of a, uh, an English translation here. Um, but these, these are just funny symbols they make up. And, and by the way, it's a little secret. They don't actually mean anything. They just randomly write down these symbols. And you basically have to, like, uh, all Arab people are, OK, now, now I'm getting some response. All Arab people are basically uh, telepaths, and when they touch the writing, it doesn't matter what it says, they get the mental image of what's supposed to happen. So that's how Arabic writing works. This is all pretend. So I will now say, Mahaban Asmi Bari, meaning my name is Barry. Okay, I someone else was typing, but I don't see anything, so I guess we'll just leave that be. Um, I would like to welcome. Oh my god, they put apostrophes in it now. I guess I did mean Arabian. Well, Arabian is a word. Ooh. This, I assume you just read out what I read out the translation. Um, Aduan Arab. I didn't hear all of it though. It sounded like you didn't go into Biskaldi Al Arab Fi Hada Al Dafk. Well, okay, see, now, now you're challenging me. It's very easy to pretend to be Arabic when I have the translation uh, phonetically translated out. Um, so why don't you? I'll ha ask you to, to uh, if you want, you can put it in the uh, if you want, you can put it in the stream chat so other people can see it, um, and then say it out loud. Uh, I'll give you a phrase and then I'll translate it so you don't cheat ahead of time. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. And you can't see the disc. Actually, I'm tempted to put Discord up, um, but um, but uh, there'll be too much exposure of other stuff. But Water Drinker basically told me he hasn't learned that yet. You are cheating, although I think he's just being silly. Um, and this is, of course, a very standard uh, standard expression here. Yaskut al matar fi Isbanya bikshkal asan ila aisal. I like the way this word here looks like assassin. Just even inside of the regular. Uh, 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 say that again. Allah Akbar. Oh well, now you just said Allah Akbar, which is sounds like it's a terrorist phrase, but it actually just means God is great. Um, 
which I don't believe because I'm an agnostic, but, but it's still, it's not a negative senti- sentence. Um, so, Ala Akbar, uh, uh, Go Jesus, uh, Hail Mary, um, uh, Jehovah, I witnessed you. That just sounds weird. Um, anyway. So, anyway, all the gods, are, all the single gods, all the single gods, if you like, you should have... Okay, no. Um, I wonder how many religions I just offended. Anyway, Greek gods, cool. Roman gods, cool. I mean, I'm, I don't believe in any of you, but, you know, hey, people do. Um, so now... Wow. I've been so freaked. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and contact... Uh, well, maybe I shouldn't. I was thinking I'd contact other people in the server directly and ask them if they want to... Uh, join my stream and make it goofy but uh, right now we just have one Arabic guy and you know one Arabic guy by the way in terms of goofiness is equal to two European people so that that's that's the translation rate there is the exchange rate Uh, oh damn it now now he has actually contacted Natalie and said that I am missing her Uh, which I always miss her because I'm madly in love with her and several other streamers, um, depending on who's available at a given time. At some point, I hope to have a 24-hour cycle of streamers I can be in love with at any time. Uh, the one issue is that sometimes two of my uh, l- l- girlfriends... Uh, oh, and he's got room for a fourth wife, uh, Water Drinker says. So uh, uh, I don't know if you're allowed to share wives in, in Arabia. And uh, to be honest, I don't think you're, you're allowed to be bigamous in Arabia either. I think you're making that up. Um, but anyway, so so that, so there we go. Um, but the problem is yeah, when you have two of them, so you kind of have to rank how much in love you are with these girls. Uh, but, but you can't tell them that because girls get all picky if you're like, you know, you're number three on my list of ten girls. They're, they're just, they just get weird about that. Something called commitment. <laughs> tell you. Okay. So. Okay. So I think since no one has done it, and you know, if someone comes in and does something, we will interrupt uh, this um, stream to do other shit, to do things that are fun. But not right now, we're going to go back to answering the question we were answering earlier, which is why do, don't I have a life? No, that's not the question I was asking earlier. Okay. Um. The question is from Stack Exchange. Uh, I really got into this, I think. Um, okay, blah, 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 blah. You can quasi-confirm the accuracy of the program. Oh, this is where I was going to put in a screenshot. So let me find that screenshot real quick. Um, you can all quasi-confirm, and then Horizons, you can also not confirm it. But, you know. Um... Let me go ahead and change the, the JSON file has an approximate answer. We're not going to even call it an answer. We're going to we're going to change up. Uh, okay, what's notes and caveats? Um, uh, it should work for many bodies, but the API is not super accurate. Um, in a very primitive state. Only up with JSON at the moment. Uh, okay, I actually put it's a very primitive state, not very accurate. Only outputs JSON and is very unreliable. The API output is by this program, which is a thin wrapper about this thing. You can quasi confirm the accuracy of this program using Stellarium. Um, I'm going to pretend like I didn't change anything that would break this output, so I'm going to assume that output is correct. Um, okay, so now. Let's make sure this is the right one. Um, this is just terrible. Um, I mean, it does confirm it, but okay. Did you, was it, did you take hello? Okay, you might want to turn your mic off because I'm hearing some. I'm hearing you drinking something and then hearing some buzzing noises, uh, which normally I would like, but there's not enough buzzing. Okay, that was good buzz. Um, if you could be more buzzy, that would be great, or less buzzy. But the cur- the amount of buzzy that you are right now 
uh, is is not appropriate. Okay, no worries. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, but I, I'm just saying your mic is being a little bit weird right now, and um, so that there's that. Okay, so. <laughs> Cool. That's the kind of buzzy we like. You would like it if I was a girl. Eh. I don't know. I mean, girls say a lot of crap too, but usually they're not uh they're not buzzy like this. I mean, thank you for muting your mic. M mic has been muted. It is Pomodoro time, but the first one so we're going to skip it. Okay. And this this actually depresses me. I'm not very happy with this result. I would like the buzz. Mm. If there was a buzz with like a little female touch, like hi, Mary. I like you, Mary. Something like that. That's by the way. I don't know why when guys do female voices, they always go like super high pitch. No girl talks like that. I mean, no girl of legal age talks like that. And honestly, I don't think even like little girls talk like that. That's just sort of the meme that when you when you're talking like a girl, you have to talk like this. I'm a girl. And again, no girl really, really talks like that. So, uh, and when you're talking Arabic, you have to go, Oh, in Arabia, girls don't talk at all. Uh, again, very, very racist and sexist. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's not even true. Um, and I, honestly, I'm beginning to doubt your Arabi Arabicity. Okay, now you're saying, don't worry, I'm brown. But still, that doesn't make you Arabic. There are white Arabic people and there are brown people who are not Arabic. There are brown people who are Mexicans, Hispanics. I know because I live in Albuquerque and we have many wonderful Hispanic people, which is also why I'm not going to do my Mexican accent because some of them might find me. Um, we do have drug dealers. Yes, we do. Uh, not enough, though, because my I still get a really, really bad price on drugs. Uh, yes, Breaking Bad, set in Albuquerque. Wonderful, wonderful series made us famous. Um, that was crystal meth, not, not, not marijuana, but yeah. But he's gone now. He died. Sorry, spoiler alert. He dies in the last episode. Uh, there's now a, um, a prequel called, I don't remember, something something Saul. Uh, but there's a prequel to it, but okay. What the hell was I doing? Okay. Better call Saul. There you go. Okay. So, getting back to the business of answering this question, this doesn't really show what we want to show. And am I getting bored enough of this that I don't want to do this, that I don't want to answer this question? Because I sort of like the idea of answering questions on my stream but never publishing them. So if you don't watch my stream, you don't get the answers. But if you do watch my stream, you get a lot of crap in addition to the answers. So there's no win situation for them. And in fact, I was looking at astronomy.stackexchange earlier today. Earlier today. And I found some questions I like, so maybe I'll start answering them and not finish answering them too, because I'm getting into this. Um, this one I actually gave enough comments on to answer. Uh, this one's boring. Um, this one's closed, although I voted to reopen it. Um, you know, we know the law that r cubed over t squared is constant for the sun, uh, which makes it easier to compute, and r being the semi-major axis and t being the orbital period time. Uh, but why is it r cubed over t squared? Why, why is that formula there? And I was pointing out that with the circle, you could probably prove it by showing that the gravitational attraction uh, decreases as... What the hell just happened? Oh, someone gave a new answer, so the scroll down. Um, so this might be an interesting question to answer. Uh, again, since I'm only going to answer it on stream and probably never publish it, it doesn't matter that it's closed and might be deleted. That would just make it more fun. Um, and I think the way you would go about proving this is showing that the, um, that the gravitational force at twice the, you know, at a larger distance will decrease with r squared. Um, and you could probably use that and something else to figure out. That's interesting, actually. I mean, you could definitely use the equal areas thing. No, you, maybe you couldn't. Wow. Hello, ProKing. Thank you for joining. Please feel free to join the chat as well if you haven't already. Uh, you haven't already, so please go ahead and join that. Uh, thank you. So um, I did not start on time. I, I, I sort of apologized, but I didn't say I was going to start. I said I might start. So I hedged my bets there. 
however, with the uh, bets hedged, um, let's go ahead and get go ahead and get on to. Uh, okay, now Water Drinker has left the chat, which is bad. Uh, now you're back. Say hello. Oh, hello, Pro King. Uh, are you the guy who still claims that you don't have a mic? I think Pro King at one point just claimed. So why? Why? Okay, I don't know. I guess you're on. So if you're on the if you're on the Discord chat, you can hear me four seconds earlier, which is confusing if you're watching my stream because the stream video is still delayed by four seconds. But if you're crazy, that's that's just the way it is. Okay. Um, let's see what this question with new activity is. Uh, oh my God. That's a good question. I want to answer that one. Um, Kepler's Law. This is actually a pretty good question that also is heavily downvoted. This is also a good question. And this, this is a fantastic question because I actually have already answered it, uh, but not published my answer to it, which I won't do now either, so not going to help you. But this is actually pretty good stuff. What this guy wants to know here, Mr. Tesseract or Miss Tesseract, uh, he wants to put it in Mathematica, which is the worst world's worst language. Um, let me see if I can F with this. Pro oh, my God. Um, as in the 4Q. Well, Christian high schooler. This is problematic already. Uh, I was going to try to get them on the stream, and I know that people are not going to school these days. They're tele-learning. Uh, but let's not do that. Let's let's go ahead and just keep this. Uh, let's go ahead and do this here. So now the the, the reason I like this is because um, I've already done stuff with it, and I think I actually have a no, I don't. Closest spice BSP conjuncts. It might be in BSP. BSP is where I basically tell you how you can understand what the numbers in the kernel files mean. Um, and how to translate them into real numbers. They use a very strange format called IEEE. Let's see if I have it listed here. IEEE 754, uh, which is a format to put numbers in that no one uses anymore, but they did because this is a very old program. And I wrote a little Perl script to convert it. So now somewhere in here, I should have a Perl script that does exactly what this guy wants. Um, it converts uh, DE431. Oh, you know what? Actually, hang on. I have this one file service that I've never used, but has something in it. Um, and it, it literally has one thing in it that I use that I once wanted to use it for. So let me go ahead and log into that because who knows? I could maybe use something for once. Okay, my username is Barry Carter, which I knew that already. Um, here it is again. I have to copy and paste my, not copy and paste because I can't do that. I have to manually type in my password and let's see if this gets in. Whoa, your mama. Okay, that wasn't cool. Uh, let's try that again. I'm pretty sure I just messed it up uh, because I am used to having passwords memorized for me. Or it's possible that I changed this password and forgot to note it down. Okay. Let's try this one more time. Hello, Kevy. There we go. Um, strong memory. I'm sure that came out of somewhere, but I don't know where. By the way, if, do feel free to join the uh, Discord chat. Um, currently, we have two people on here that are muting their mic, so their only benefit is they're hearing me four seconds before they're seeing my screen. Now, the problem is I think I actually, yep, I did get, get rid of it. So I do have a folder for it, but I actually got rid of it. Partly, I think, because it turns out the Mathematica format I was using, which I thought was universal across Mathematica, is actually machine-dependent and version-dependent. So, um, yeah, I'm sure your name is Proking. No, it's not. Wait, wait, are you? Hang on, I forgot. God damn it. Yesterday someone was calling themselves Barry Carter. Oh, that's right. You might be proking in Discord. Yeah. Hello, Milk Easter Moon. Welcome to the stream. Um, you are not my wonderful fake girlfriend, Natalie. Uh, you are... Although, I mean, you know, you, you sound pretty cool. I mean, if I ever turn... 
And I could. I could turn very easily. So you're right up there. Um, everybody feel free to join the Discord chat. You know what? I'm going to go even crazier here. I'm going to go ahead and post my... If I can figure out how... Oh, I do know how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and post a link to Discord, so if you want to get in here and, and um, anybody wants to get in here. Uh, no, it's temp.txt, isn't it? Nope, it's test.txt. Always give it really stupid. What the hell is it? Oh, actually, it's in my pseudo temp directory. Nope. There we go. So let me go ahead and paste this into the chat. Uh, so if you want to, you can, you can join me on Discord chat. You have an 8 out of 10 face. Um, wow. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Um, I'm going to not repeat everything that's said in the Discord chat if it's not relevant to the stream. Not that anything is relevant to the stream that has no relevance to anything. Um, I name all my files test. I sometimes end up doing that too. It's quite sad. Um, okay, so clearly I don't have the first thing that I thought I had. Uh, so that's a good waste of time there, uh, which I like. That's not a bad thing. So now let's see if I have it in BC git astro, which I, I'm pretty sure I do actually. Okay, okay, okay. We believe you. Kevy one is pro king in uh, Discord. If for some bizarre reason, um, if for some bizarre reason you want to chat with them in Discord, uh, or actually, no, you're not Milkister Moo. Stop that. Water drinker is not Milkister Moo. Um, Milkister Moo, I think, I think we, we're friends in Discord. So, uh, this is, this is just horrible. It's like being trolled accidentally. Because these people are trying to help. So, I do have a program that should convert, um, uh, the, uh, not the main files, unfortunately, because I didn't know about them at the time, or, there it is, Horizons to Math. Which is incorrect, by the way, it's not Horizons. But that, that's just kind of... Uh, converts output of horizons. No, but it is horizons. It is horizons. Uh, my bad. Uh, so what I'm trying to do is convert the ephemerises. ephemerises. Uh, one nice thing is I don't know actually how to spell it, so that's... Uh, let's take a look at the Perl scripts I have here. Uh, extract. HYG, parse soul, parse houses, ecliptic map. It's really good that I have all these things and I don't really fully understand any of them. Split seasons, moving backwards, planet file, travel to Orion, parse T gas, which is a list of stars, horizons to map, which was my best hope for this, equator, moving house, email, horizons, XSP to math, old. That's okay, but I get the feeling there isn't a new one. Oh, there is, okay. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, now this might give me an opportunity to pointlessly waste my bandwidth by uploading something that someone could use, but that they wouldn't really want. Uh, let's see. Oh shit, this, con this converts XSP files, not... Okay. I think we can do this. Um... Yeah, this might actually work. Okay, we'll keep this one in our pocket in case we... I think this might be actually the thing that I did. I don't think I ever converted. There's other files I could have converted. Um, okay, stop that, please. I mean, I shouldn't be mean about it, but guys... Well, actually, I don't care. Go ahead, talk. Talk in my Discord all you want. I'm not going to put it on stream, though. <sighs> Someone's claiming to be nine years old in my stream. Um, so this might be the thing I was looking for. But let me see if there's another one that's a little bit different. Um, and then the obvious question is, you know, can I do it for this guy for a certain amount of time? Uh, oh, and this is DE430, not DE431. So that's sort of interesting. Um, and again, I, I do want to... Jesus Christ. Okay. What? I sorry, I missed that. What, what are you asking? Oh, what are XP, S, XXP files? Okay. Uh, if you go to uh, NASA and you want to get data on planets, they actually have these files that give you the data. Um, the, their base format is called Binary Spice Kernel, or BSP. Uh, however, you can convert them to text, and the, the uh, resulting file is called an uh, 
transfer spice kernel, which is XSP, because the X is for transfer. Um, now, lots of smart people know how to how to get the uh, BSP file, uh, but I was never I didn't put that much effort into figuring it out. But I did figure out the XSP file, and this will basically take a portion of it and write it into um, and write it into well, write it to the standard output. But that means you could then use it in Mathematica. You put it in Mathematica format. All right, so let's go ahead and do Astro. Read me XSP to math answer because it is the answer to. Let's go ahead and get the question in here. Uh, this is the one I was kind of looking to to answer. Um, oh shit! Fuck! Someone's already answered this. So now I'm going to up my game a little bit. I mean, this is mathematically correct. This is exactly what, what, it, what it does. It doesn't help him, though. Also, I need to mention astronomical data, because mathematics has a built-in function to do this. Um, and then I have to do it for him now, because otherwise my answer won't be as good as the other answers, and I'm very, very competitive. Okay. So the first thing I need to do is mention this wonderful program that I wrote. I'm sorry. I don't know. If, I can't tell if you're seriously saying this is confusing, or you're just being silly, because I do know that in... My Discord, um, you're claiming to be nine years old, and uh, someone else is claiming to be a pedophile. So, really, really wonderful stuff going on in the Discord. They're much more exciting than what's going on here, by the way. Um, but let's go ahead and give them a link to. Let's go ahead and get a link to this. We have it. Um, okay, okay. If you're serious, you're you're free to voice yourself on Discord if you can. Uh, if not, go ahead and ask me the question, what you're trying to actually ask me. Um, and if you're just trolling, that's fine too, but, um, but uh, you know, even then you're going to have to ask me like a question or something that, that sounds like you're interested. So we will, and I know you're getting the, uh, my voice four seconds sooner than you're seeing my screen, so you, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, well, um, basically, people want to know where the planets are in our solar system, you know, using Cartesian coordinates x, y, and z. Um, you can get a pretty good approximation by assuming the planets have circular or elliptical orbits around the sun, using, uh, and so th that, that's pretty simple. However, if you're doing more exact work, it's not that easy because you have to consider the gravitational effects of the planets, not just from the sun, but on each other and from their own moons. Our moon, for example, uh, has an effect on how the Earth moves. So uh, what NASA does is they compute all of this using a supercomputer, and then they release the results so people don't have to make that computation on their own. Um, the results are in this weird format called BSP, uh, which, which, and they have, they've written programs to work with BSP. Those programs are called the SPICE programs, or generally called C-SPICE, because the version in C is called C-SPICE. However, if you don't want to use the C versions, um, you can convert this data into other formats. And one such format is uh, Mathematica, which is a, a pretty good, uh, pretty good, um, I, yeah, 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 yeah is a pretty good pr uh, programming language, which is technically what it is, that a lot of people use, but it's not free. You can also use it for free in the Wolfram Cloud, cloud.wolfram.com. Uh, but I think this guy might maybe has a copy of Mathematica and wants to get the data in that form. So that's what I'm trying to do for him right now. Or at least figure out what the hell I think is going on here. And I think if I just run this as is, hopefully that was uh, okay. I'm going to put hope that helped to make it sound like I'm answering you in chat, but it's really so if anyone says anything, I'll see it b beneath my red uh, video camera marker. Let's see what this does. Okay, that's okay. I, kn I, know, what that, that I know what that is. So let's see what the hell it is. Why well, have another version? Why well, have three versions of it? What the hell does this version do? Oh! Creates piecewise functions. Okay, someone has said something. 
mind blowing. Well, yeah, I guess. I I mean I don't think it's dull because I, I I enjoyed this kind of shit, but I don't know. It's 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 the weird thing here is it's basically we're looking at um. You know, almost elliptical orbits. These are very small deviations, but they're big enough. If you're doing precise work, you need them. So it's you can run the differential equations yourself if you want to, actually. And and you know you could do what NASA is doing, especially with now that we have you know more powerful computers. Uh, it is Pomodoro time, but I'm going to skip it this time because I am talking to somebody. Okay, so let me see what the hell. I guess these are both. I guess these are both going to require that I create DE430, uh, the, the XSP version. So let's go ahead and do that now. Spice kernels. And then DE430 is the less accurate of the two. Let me actually make a note of that. Um, it is the less accurate of the two. But that's okay. Sounds like a very painful thing. Not really. It's a pretty short Perl. I mean, it's a Perl script. Um, there are some weirdnesses because they use a weird number format called IEEE 754, I think. Um, but once you get around it, it's not really. I mean, this program, I think. Oh, let me load it in actually. Um, this program is. It's it's not really 394 lines long. Hang on, is it really that long? Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and measure it without the comments. I've written a program that measures the length of other programs without comments. So there too. No, I don't remember what it is, but um, is it BC Prog? Uh, no, this is fun. Um, I'm actually in the wrong. Okay, hang on. Uh, code length, size, code. One day I'm going to figure out what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, length. Let's see if any of these talk about length. Um, let's see if any of them talk about code length. Mm. This is how I get lost in stuff, by the way. I'm just going to dig. I go, um, I go depth first into this, and it's possible that I actually wrote it inside of a Perl script, inside of a directory. Um, let me see, code review. It might be under find us find most. Yep. Um. I don't think this is going to help. Um, I get the feeling this isn't going to help either. Um, this is not going to... Um, okay, this is fun. I do have a readme here, but I think it's even less useful than... Um, oh, BC line count. Let me see if my readme would have helped me with that. Let me go ahead and put that in my readme just in case I ever want to use it again. Okay. BC line count. Count the number of lines in a program code. Um, I want to put it in many words. The number of lines, length, of in a program code, excluding comments. So now if I'd searched for any of those things, I would have gotten this file. Um, so now that I know, I can do this. So let's see how long that, uh, that file is that we were talking about. Um, and this one is 166 lines, so it's pretty chunky. 124 lines in the old version. Oh wow, the old version was really short. So so <laughs> there's something going on here. Okay, um so what I was gonna do is I was gonna go ahead and change the uh, I was gonna pick a copy of the uh the spice kernel um by using Okay. 
Is it trans? No, it's not transfig. It's X something. What is vanilla JavaScript? Is it a beginner? No, uh, when people say something is vanilla in this case, it means JavaScript without any additional libraries. For example, mo many people when they're programming JavaScript, they use React or jQuery, or there's a lot of, of very, very many um, things that have, have been built on top of JavaScript. Um, and I wish I had a bigger list. But you know what, let me take a quick look here. Um, so it's just, it's the basic syntax without any, right, there's, it's like the, the word vanilla means plain here, plain JavaScript uh, without using any fancy libraries like, uh, there's a whole bunch of the damn things. Let me find some because I want to waste some time here. React, jQuery, A well, Ajax isn't actually a thing, but um, let's see. There's something called Code School. It's a really good resource. Mm. No, no, it's not this. Oh, Angular. Yes, good. Yes, Angular, React, jQuery, um, Vue. Oh, you know more of these than I do. Let me. In Google, if you search for something like this, it Ember. Um, frame. They're called frameworks. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of them. They're supposed to make it easier to program, easier to... One of the problems with JavaScript uh, that I think is a problem is um, the it doesn't look very pretty. I mean, I do the computational side, so maybe it's just me, but making things look pretty with JavaScript is difficult. And, uh, you know, the components and stuff, and React and Vue and Angular and all this stuff try to make it, try to make it easier. Um, but I really don't care about looks. I mean, I do for girls, but not for programs. Um, frameworks, and I'll say and library. Yeah, there we are, and libraries. So some of these I've never heard of. Um, but but there, are, there are a lot of them. Um, well, those ones I haven't heard of, actually. Um, Here's a guy who has 39 listed. So th there's a lot of them. That oh, that doesn't work. Um, let's see if we can get a cached version of that page. Oh, I don't can't I guess. List of top JavaScript frameworks. I'm going to beat this to death and then get back to what I was doing before. Okay, Python has endless libraries, but that's a little bit different. Um, you're still writing basic Python, and then you're using extra functions. For JavaScript, in many cases, some of these frameworks, like jQuery, replaces JavaScript. You write in jQuery, it is ultimately JavaScript, but you don't even have to know vanilla JavaScript to write in jQuery. Python development libraries, uh, you still have to know Python. They, they just sort of add functionality to Python. So, um, so React and stuff, to me at least, they are like their own languages. They're technically JavaScript, but they've written so much of it that you you can just write directly in React or Angular or whatever and not even know JavaScript. I say that and I know someone's going to ding me on that, but, um, but something like that. Or CoffeeScript is another one. Um, let's see. I'm just curious what they think are the... Uh, so, okay, those are the big ones. React, Vue, Angular. Oh, jQuery's not listed there, but jQuery might not be considered a framework. Um, let's see if they mention jQuery here. Yeah. So, it, okay, I think I've beaten this to death now. Yes, they, they add a few extra syntax into the basic syntax. Technically, they, they write functions, which, you know, anyone can do, but they, they do such a thorough job of it, they do such a, uh, a grandiose job of it, that you're essentially now programming in a language that's written in JavaScript as opposed to programming in JavaScript. But I guess, again, technically that's like six, six of one, half dozen of the other, and same thing. Um, if you do have any questions about vanilla JavaScript or want to uh, help me in that or want to be helped in that, let me know because I do know a little bit about it enough to be uh, dangerous. And, uh, and that would, uh, I think, bring the value of the stream down further, which I'm always looking to degrade the stream to the extent possible. Um, so do let me know if you're, in, if you're into that. 
Um, otherwise, I'm going to get back to, what is, is it XSP to, uh, what is it? It's X transfer, I think. X terms, X tables, multi, time. I don't even know what the hell that is. Cool. Um, what I wonder, I know you should never run programs. Oh, okay. Oh, this is, uh, this is, th these are firewall tables. Um, Okay, do you want to uh, co-code on a replit somewhere? Uh, we can co-code on a replit. If you have a project you're working on that's interesting, we can take. I can take a look at it. Um, so, so go with where you want to go with JavaScript because um, we're going deep into the boondocks here. But we'll continue to do that. Okay, somewhere in here there's a directory called bin. And that has all the, the little programs that Spice uses to... Con oh, wow, it does not. Okay. There are, pro there are programs like... Okay, so one of them is called comment. So if I can find that one... Oh, it's... Okay. It's exe, not bin. But same, same idea. What is... Oh, 2xfr is what I'm looking for. So 2xfr de430... Uh, and I, this is a bad idea to do it here because I'm on a mounted drive, but I'm going to do it anyway um, because it's actually pretty, 430 is actually pretty small. I say that and I get the feeling it's going to be, yeah, I, it's pretty small in the sense that it is 244 megabytes right now. Um, okay. Um... It's not that hard, but okay. So I guess my question to you is not more how much you know, but what would you like to do, uh, you know, on stream with me? Uh, because I'm pretty open to uh, to doing stuff on stream. That sounds dirty, but it's only dirty when a girl says it. I'm pretty open to doing programming things on stream. Uh, if I were a girl, that would have a totally different meaning, but it, I'm not. Um, okay. So let's see how big this is. This is... Oh, wow. I, so I guess when I say it's small, it's like 119 megabytes, which is kind of... And this the, the expanded version is 288 megabytes. Uh, so now I should be able to run uh, BC parse. Um, whatever the hell the program was. Brains of a crouton. All right, hang on. BC XSP now. And in theory, because it has some things in it, okay. Um, oh, wow. So this is something I'll never, never, well, actually, I probably will understand it. Um, So this actually makes a Mathematica do the work, which is fine. Um, evil, evil, I told you I don't like Python. You may not send me a Python app. JavaScript I'm into, uh, Perl I like, uh, Unix command line I like, uh, C I can deal with, Python is my enemy. I do not like Python, I'm sorry. But if you want to do something in a language other than Python, I'm up for it. Okay, so let me go ahead and look at the one that I think is probably going to be better here. HTML HTML is not a programming language. I mean, you could argue that it is, but um, yeah, HTML. I, I mean, I can look at that. It's pretty simple, though. I think usually nowadays uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript work together to create web pages. So. Um, we can look at HTML, uh, certainly, and usually we can add, like, JavaScript and CSS to it. So I'd be up for that. So now I'm going to see why I don't want to use this version. Let's go ahead and look at the other version, which should be the pass... The it's not password. It's... Actually, I don't know why the hell it says... Th Ooh! Oh. Ephemeris for Mercury... 
for the year 2020 to the year 2021. Oh. Oh. I have to give the name of it like this. Okay. Oh, wow. That's actually not great either. HTML, CSS, and Python. Python is my main language. Okay. Um, the problem, I mean, with any language other than JavaScript right now is if you want to write programs that are run in the client's side, it has to be JavaScript. HTML, CSS, JavaScript. There is no client-side Python right now. So, so that's sort of the the disconnect there is um, if you want to run a language other than JavaScript, it has to run on a server somewhere, which is fine, but, but then you sort of get the question of, you know, um, then, you, then it becomes sort of a server-side programming issue, which is fine, but that, that's different than what people are doing nowadays, which is more client-side programming. So clearly this was, um, so apparently I do make uh, Mathematica do all the work. Um, either way, um, okay, and I'm beginning to get the feeling this is maybe not a great idea, um, well, okay, I will say that because even though I hate it, uh, JavaScript is very popular. So, and then to be honest, Python is very popular too, so you might want to stick with that. R, the statistics language, is very popular. But really, I mean, if you're looking for a job, you know, just ask what are the most pro popular programming languages? And it'll tell you that all of these are still pretty popular. Um, and again, these are people's opinions of what you should learn, but th these are pretty well-informed opinions. Um, yeah. Oh, and of course, um, if you're developing for mobile, you definitely want to learn um, Android. Well, it's Java, but it's Android Java. Game development, you want to learn Unity. Um, so this is this is a pretty good this is a pretty good summary actually. Um, depending on what you want to do, JavaScript way up there. Swift, I have no, nothing to do, I know nothing about Swift. It apparently is what how you develop for iOS. Um, yeah, Java is not a bad language to learn. Actually, they still use it quite a bit in embedded programming and stuff. So, Swift, Scala, uh, Go, Python. Python's up there. Elm. Um, okay. Elm compiles to JavaScript, so like, technically it's a framework or it's a it's a translator. Um, Oh, uh, Natalie just said to Water Drinker that she misses him in the um, in the Discord chat. So I'm jealous. Ruby surprisingly still very popular. C sharp, Rust, Rust actually. Um, yeah, Rust actually might become bigger. Um, and then there's also something called Web Assembly, uh, which is going to become the sort of substitute to JavaScript because it's faster and more secure. So, again, it depends on what you want to do. Um, I'm retired. I don't give a rat's ass. Um, so I just do what I want, pretty much. Um, okay, so now I've got this weird thing going here where basically I've answered this guy's or girl's question um, in a way that he didn't want it answered necessarily. Um, but in order to, f to make this actually useful... I have to tell him how to use it. I have to tell him what to do with it if after you run the program, uh, and what you need to have it um, have it, you know, actually make any computation. So that's kind of a that's kind of a nightmare. Um, I mean, the obvious thing here would be to admit basically that I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, because to get from here, oh, or, or to create something for him. That was the other approach, is that we could create a, uh, a file for him. Um, and let's... Um, 
So what we could do here... Okay, this actually brings up a good question. In Wolfram Cloud, can I load files that are on the web that are themselves Mathematica scripts? I should be able to do that, but let's see how big this thing is. I mean, because I'm only doing one year, and I'm going to name this file test because I like it. Uh, and let's see how big. That shouldn't be too big because I'm only doing one year. And that is pretty small, actually. We can, we can deal with that. Um, neural networks, and I'm skipping Pomodoro again because I'm talking to someone. Um, neural networks are kind of fun. Um, so it's, it's not painful. I would like to learn about neural networks as well. Uh, if you want, we can learn together on stream. Um, but yeah, neural networks attempt to mimic the way our brains work, except with a lot fewer nodes. So I don't know if it's—I don't know if it's ever going to be really super successful, uh, because our brains might actually be better at doing neural nets than computers. I learned recently on stream that, um, for example, the way our DNA replicates is also fairly complicated. Protein folding is something that machines can't do well. So right now, despite the fact that machines are a billion times faster than us at math, um, they are slower than us at protein folding and, and thinking, doing neural network stuff. So clearly the solution is to basically hook a computer into someone's brain and make them do computations for us, but there's some ethical issues with that, I think. Okay. All right, so... So now let me see if we can go to Wolfram. I want to do something with this. What can we do with it? Let's go to Cloud Wolfram. I think I, I am I am logged in. Good for that. My files. They won't allow you to upload a file unless you pay them money. Um, but. Um, can I see this text? I think so. Where, where to go? Where'd my file go? Hang on. I think... I don't know. I've heard of TensorFlow. Um, but I really know almost nothing about TensorFlow. Uh, I know what a tensor is and I know what flow is. Uh, I don't know what TensorFlow is. So literally nothing. If, again, if you want to learn this stuff on, on stream with me, I'm, I'm up for it. Okay, what the hell? Am I creating files and not knowing it? Oh, God. I'm going to have to move this a little bit further here to get my little scroll bar. Or not get my scroll bar, whatever. Oh, there's my scroll bar. Nope, that's something else. Um... Okay, maybe I'm just doing this kind of funny text. You're supposed to come up with a freaking window for me, you piece of... Oh! I don't know why you have to just say new. Oh, that's a new notebook, isn't it? That's not what I wanted. Cloud files. I think from here I can... I mean, you're supposed to be able to do it from anywhere, but... Now it'll bring up a little... There we go! No, I want to discard this file. I want to create a new text file. Okay, so now I can I can give it a name after I'm finished with this. Okay, so now what I can do here, bizarrely... Oh, it created new windows. That's why it's being weird. Okay. So now I can do this into here. It's going to take a few seconds. Oh, maybe there's a bunch of new lines at the end. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so the question now is, can I load this as a Mathematica file as opposed to... Let me save it as something that's not... Um, let's give it a name here. Um... Call it math test zero. Okay, now we have saved it to math test zero. Can I load it as a Mathematica script? Um, and the answer probably is no. Um, but let's find out. New notebook. 
And then... I don't think... Load does something, but I don't think it does what I think it does. I think load... Come on. The one time the help would be useful. There we go. F1, F1, oh. Load. Library load. Is there no actual load symbol? There must be. Oh. Get. Get, and now because we're local, we can just say um, math test zero dot text. See what that does. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure I defined something in here called P-Array. I do. Um, and I get the feeling I probably do want to be careful. I want to say short version of P-Array. That, 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 okay, here we go. No, that is, that is the short version of P-Array. Let me be a little bit more, um, X10. X. Oh, P-Array is a function. Hang on. P-Array is actually a function. Oh, so P-Array X10 is a function. Okay, so this, I probably should have put a short around that. This is going to be the list of uh, positions. Yeah. This is hideous. Let's see if we can do a short version of it. Um. Okay, so that's the second thing in each one is a condition. Um. The first thing in it is, all right, so let's go ahead and look at P array. Let's just look at one of, let's just look at the fifth element of this array. Oh, in this case, we probably do not want to shortify it. By the way, Kev, uh, Kevy, if you have more questions, uh, let me know. Um, or if you want to talk or discuss or learn any of this stuff on stream, let me know. I'm happy to do it. I'm actually interested in machine learning. Um, okay, so the W here is... Okay. Is the W here the thing that's between 0 and minus 1? Because that would be really confusing. Um, okay. So I must have written some other functions that basically, these are the very, very basic functions. Um, then I probably wrote some functions that actually are helpful. Maybe not. Um, and I think I used the other form, didn't I? I use BS X, this sucker, it, with the um, partial functions form. Okay. Um, so... All right, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. But somewhere I've got to just... Oh, there it is. Um, yeah. Pause target center. Um, okay. Let me know when you decide. And of course, when you do decide, you may decide to learn it on your own with other people with, you know, and so lots of options. If you decide to learn it with me on stream, that's great. If you want to learn it some other way, that's cool too. So I think what I, we end up with is pause is like the main function. Um, so let me... This is going to be ugly, because I'm pretty sure that this is not what I want. Milky Stramu! Yeah, I actually saw that on the Discord, because I, I still have the notifications turned on. Uh, I was jealous. Uh, you missed it. I was jealous on the stream for a bit. Um, if uh, I, I think you actually were trying to get her to come into the stream with that, and it turned around on me, uh, because now you've stolen her from me. 
Um, I will challenge you to a uh, to a JavaScript off for her hand. Um, although I think nowadays you actually have to get the permission of you can't just buy and sell women. Uh, you have to get their permission first. So, um, well, okay, yes. Uh, maybe it's that the fact that you don't know what you're doing that makes you charming to her. So you never know. Okay, too large for rendering, which I actually did expect. Um, I'm a virgin. Thank you for sharing. Uh, not super surprising, by the way, to anyone. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to have groceries maybe delivered in about half an hour. So um, if I do, I, I may, I'll probably need to go when I, that happens, but I may just mute the stream because um, that's, how, that's how I roll, man. Um, okay, so I think what I've... I kind of... Oh, let's see. Do I, have, I might have an actual readme on this. Oh... Shiny. Is that what the other one does too? Do I finally end up getting... Oh, there we are. So now... If this is documented somewhere, this would be fantastic. I mean, it won't be, because I know me. Um, but let's take a look, quick look for um, this in all the files. And maybe I should have just done a minus L. I'm hoping to find it Let's just do that now. Okay, uh, dump champ. I'm hoping to find it in some sort of text file or some place that we can actually. It tells me. Yeah. Now, I, I did notice we had some directories here. Um, spice meta. Uh, no, that's not useful. Conjunctions, constellations, stellarium, bin data. Uh, I'm pretty sure bin data is not what I want. Yep, it isn't. And then test data. Um, oh, I know what that is, but that's not useful here either. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm tempted to sort of tell him to come to this cloud and get it from here but I don't really know how that would be. Okay, so we want sort of a pause of one comma zero, which itself might be too large to, uh, too large to, um, that's just freaking weird. Let's do this. Short form, oh, that's what I meant to do. Um, Okay. This should give me a, ooh, shiny. Okay. So if I put in here a Unix time, um, unfortunately I think I have it set to give me zeros if it's outside the time range. So let's go ahead and we're, we're in the era that I created this for, so let's go ahead and do this. Put this number in here. Um, okay, so that's clearly not what we're looking for. Pause one zero. Okay, so let's take a quick look at our little test file here. The very end of it should have the uh, the simplifications that go from a lot of this is just like working stuff. Okay, here we are. Pause one zero of W equals piecewise. Oh, this is Unix day, so it's S date and E date. So, so now I'm actually reverse engineering my own piece of shit. That's how bad this is. Um, which one am I on? To do, make this the documentation for BC, XS, P, to math, PW, etc. Um, and I guess piecewise function, w you know, in Mathematica, piecewise function is almost the same thing as a function defined differently at different intervals. 
I'm going to blow my nose, so I'm going to put you guys on, uh, on mute here for a second, hopefully. And I'm back. Okay. So we start all of our stack exchange answers with the uh, denial of it being an answer. This is not an answer, comma, but may be helpful and is too long for a comment. Because really, I just don't want to make it a comment. Okay. Um, okay. And I do need to mention cloud. I don't know if I necessarily want to mention my cloud. Um, okay. And I need to give him a short form, adjust the uh, program, and a dump, data dump. Um, which I think is going to be too big for, I don't even necessarily want to put it in the cloud. So I, I will use files anywhere because I have not used that. I could use Dropbox too, um, but whatever. Actually, I actually don't know if I can create a file that, um, never mind. Maybe I can. Okay. Um, and this is one of the details. Ages ago, I wrote three similar program. Uh, okay, wrote two similar programs to convert uh, ephemeris data uh, to mathematical form, and they will be yes. And because I always do nested, I need to do this. Oh, this was to tear a map. We don't need that one anymore. Okay, and it's going to be well, at least it fit in one line. Although, you know. Okay, thank you very much, Kevy. Really appreciate it. Uh, I hope I'll be back tomorrow. Hope you'll be back tomorrow. Really appreciate it. Okay. What is the difference between these two? I'm pretty sure one of them creates piecewise functions and the other just uses Mathematica's built-in sort of notion of... Uh, um, okay. So this does not use the piece... Um, yeah, so this one does use the... <coughs> excuse me. So this one has the word piecewise in it, but it never prints it. This one does, okay. Um, um, the version ending in PW, piecewise functions, whereas the first, uh, the one not ending in, in PW, um, uses Mathematica's implicit method of defining. That's confusing, and, it's, and if someone asks, I'll answer that. Basically, Mathematica says if you define a function on a, ra on a domain uh, and redefine that function on a different domain, it, that's okay. It'll consider that to be two uh, piecewise function uh, of defining piecewise functions. Okay. The output is truly hideous, but 
um, the auto generate well I shouldn't even need to say that right it, if I run a program uh, but ultimately leads um, but ultimately yields the following uh, functions data what the hell do I want to say um, Um, assuming you don't want to use, and I get the, okay, Pomodoro time, and because I was talking, I'm going to skip it this time. Next time I probably will go. Uh, Mathematica's built in astronaut, and he probably will, so this is going to make the rest of it. Um, He's gonna he's he's gonna do that. Um, yields the following functions. Uh, what you need to run it, and how to specify the arguments. And then I think I'll mention two XFR as well. <coughs> So now we go back to our little cloud thing. Um, now I forget if this is Unix second. I mean, it kind of has to be, I guess. Um, all right, so let's do this. I don't think Mercury is at the very center right now. Let's do this today. We'll just give this number in here, and that should. That should be a number, and a no there we go. Very nice. Um, warning, disclaim, check horizons, blah blah blah. Um, this shouldn't work. It should say, yeah. Um, so I guess we'll say target source returns position of S. Now I guess it should be. Wait. Fuck. Which is my order here? Um. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> it's great the way I do this, and I don't remember the order in which I'm doing this. I'm not even sure I documented that, because I would just think it would be obvious at the time. Uh, let's do this one. Um, Earth position from Earth Moon Berry Center of what? Um, okay. We'll just, we're just going to use Horizons real quick. Um, oh, could I use, can I use my wonderful BC dump data? Stuff dump? Any dump. Yeah. I really, really need to improve that to be more documented. But maybe I can use it. Um, uh, fudge, 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 fudge. Uh, oh, okay. So this is all with respect to Earth, though. So I need to make this broader. Um, yeah, this is not going to do what I want. All right. So let me make a note here and read me straight, or the answer, actually, that what I got out of here was this sucker. Yields. 
And the only thing that really matters is the sign here. I mean, if these, these numbers are otherwise not accurate, uh, I'm hosed. Let's do this. Um, so now this will also make a nice little test to make sure the thing isn't totally bizarro, living in bizarro land. Oh, and actually, offer extra help. Um, so basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna stalk this person who is a who is in high school, and say if you want help, come onto my stream, talk to me, I can help you. Um, okay. The observer. I think. Do I want observer? I want vectors. I want my vector table. So the target body will be Mercury. The very center of Mercury. The the planet. Okay. And the time span will be now. I think that should do it. Okay. And again, this might be way off, so... Uh, so this is where it was earlier today. It does move pretty fast, so it's not... Super surprising. So X is... Okay, we're already seeing some chinks in the armor here. Because according to this, Mercury's X position goes from 1.32 to 1.53 uh, times 10 to... The oh, wait, what? Oh. Yeah. Uh, the units need to be kilometers, obviously. Uh, where? Okay. Uh, let's try this. Okay. So according to this, Mercury is from positive 1.97. There we go. 2.2, there we go, it's actually very close. Um, oh, I did it at the beginning of the day, so this should actually match almost exactly. Uh, minus 6.27, that's not good. And minus 3.14, very not good. Um, what frame of reference am I in? I should be in the J2000 frame of reference. Um, Let's see. So I think I need to change my, um, I need to change my frame of reference. XYZ. Yeah, that's not what I want. I want ICRFJ2000 and I want the Earth's equator. This is, wait, yes, yes. Um, but if it works, I'm going to take a snapshot of it and say these are the these are the settings you need to to confirm, because it's not immediately apparent that you're that these are the correct settings. Okay, so minus 5.47 and minus 3.14. There we go. So definitely take a picture of this. Um, Um, okay, I'll go ahead and put a little uh, message here just to separate out in case anyone else comes in. I don't want to miss them. Okay. So it is the position... Okay. Um, from zero to one. Um, uh, from zero, so let's make sure. Okay, so that's from, from source to target, 
from source from s source. I guess I can put these in back ticks because they are variables. On Unix day D. Um, the Unix day is the number of seconds, number of days since 1 January 1970, uh, aka the Unix time divided by 86,400. I'm not going to, I can give more information here about how to get the uh, Unix time because, you know, like date plus percent S. Uh, but for right now, we're going to assume the guy knows what he's doing. So date plus percent S minus D dot 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 dot. Okay. Um, um, functions and variables. So now we need to make sure the other stuff we're returning here, um, that's actually useful, start, I think I meant to say S time, okay, I need to look, look see what the hell I'm doing. Okay, these are the ones that he printed at the very... Oh, actually, I think I can look at just the... Uh, oops. Let me... This is going to be a bad idea. Actually, it's okay. S date. S date. Um, um, oh, that's only three other things I define. Okay, well, all right. Read me, read me. Okay. S date. Um, the first date for which pause will work. And I guess con correspondingly we need, I think it's E date. The last date for which pause will work. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. The return position of S on Unix days, the year is okay. In the J2000 frame. In the J2000 equatorial, yeah, I'll say equatorial. Let me turn on spell mode, um, and I'll check this word in particular. Okay, good. Um, no, pause is okay though. Let's see. Not letting work. Um. Um, you can run um, either program with uh, the. Uh, oh, actually, to, okay. Let's see. Um, okay, so actually, hang on. Um, well that sh that I should be able to spell. Uh, oh wow. Not VSOP. Uh, that's important because that's so basically I'm saying that I didn't do what you s asked him to do. Asked me to do. Um. Uh, convert the ephemeris data uh, to mathematical form. Um, I guess since we're giving instructions, it's actually okay to see, to say, uh, to use these programs. Uh, 
Um, to first download DE433 BSP from wherever the hell they keep their kernels, which is SPK. Da 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 Um You'll first need to download and to Xfer from um, I'm just looking at the utilities is what I'm looking for. Um, I'll I'll do this, but there's a problem with this. Okay. And okay. Two X for that. Yes. Okay. Um, to use these programs, see now we can make a list of this. Um, this is one of those answers that it's starting to get. Um, we're, we're starting to think that the one thing that I said about astronomical data is going to answer the question for him, and this the. Okay, hold on one second, guys. I'm going to have to mute the stream while I get my groceries or something. Stream muted. One Okay, we are back. Uh, grocery deliver came two minutes early. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this guy some more instructions here. Um, um, go to choose your operating system and download 2xfr.exe on the resulting page. Run 2xfr.exe on DE430 BSP to which should give you, which should yield D4 
ATE430.XSP. Okay. Um, um, you can then run the program Um, actually, hang on one second. You can then run the program. Uh, okay, we're going to skip Pomodoro because I just got up. Um, but I will check to see how long I have been streaming because I might want to take a break here. Uh, one and a half hours. Probably take a break in about 20 minutes. We'll probably stop at about two hours. Um, you can then run the program... Thank you, Mr. Pomodoro person. Um, Nightbot. Uh, as, for example, yeah, I'm beginning to get the feeling that I did this really badly, and now I'm sort of trying to, like, bragging about it. Um, did I actually run it in this one? I might, must have, right? Um... Oh, actually, only one of them has the actually lets takes parameters. The other one is actually trying to be weird. Um, I think this one, yeah, this one's actually just doing stuff on its own. So it has to be um, this one that actually takes the. Uh, yeah, this is the one that we have to use. So let me let me edit my answer. Uh, okay. Um, I wrote. this guy to convert uh, we'll say and actually we need the plural of ephemeris uh, which is ephemides one of my favorite words and I don't think my spell check's going to know it but I think I can I can a I'm definitely going to add that in yeah um Okay. I think Wait a minute. Did I The one problem with this thing is that I don't the I in Okay, that's fine. Uh uh to be form. Um I'm going to go ahead and push this just cuz I like to have the version that doesn't work pushed to get Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Um, I th yeah, this needs to be open. The output is truly hideous, but ultimately reads the following functions and variables. Um... Uh, download, download this, choose your operating system. For example, example. Um, I wonder if I can do it with like one. Hang on. Where, oh, where did I run you? Right here. Um, but now I'm kind of curious as to whether I can do... Can I put commas in here? I don't think I... I don't know. That's not what I expected. And let's go ahead and bring up the correct version here. Uh, at Remedies, Planet ID... I don't think this will let me choose the multiple planet IDs. Um, wow. So where the hell does this do the work? 
my start, my debug. Oh, XSP to math does all the work. Um, and I'm almost 99% sure that XSP is not going to take more than one uh, argument as its second argument. IDX. Um, so, yeah, I'm almost sure that's... Yeah, yeah, it's, it's not going to... It's not going to take multiples. Um, so it really sucks. This actually sucks bad enough that it's almost worth posting again. Um, just for its awfulness. Um, I want to see if this actually works. So now it's gotten to the point that it's so useless that it's going to be fun. Um, okay. That's kind of weird, but okay. Um, Then run the program uh, to generate positions for Mercury, MIF ID 1, from, let's see, this should be the start of, so actually I probably should have said 2100. Yeah. Um, to the start of 2100. Um, a list of NAFE IDs, a list of many NAFE IDs, is available at... I'm going to love this if this guy comes back and says, oh, astronomical data, I didn't know about that. But that I kind of want that almost, because it will confirm how much time I'm wasting. Uh, there are NAFE IDs. Um, so now the question is, do I want to waste, how much of my bandwidth do I want to waste to help this guy? And there's no limit on bandwidth now because Comcast is being kind of nice about that. Um, that's, oh, that's only 16 megabytes, that's nothing. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's not nothing, but <sighs> okay. Um, Um, the programs are as with any as with anything I do. I shouldn't say that. It sounds too sp specific to me. Of course, I can't guarantee the results will be accurate. Um, but you can cross-check them against, cross, cross check is one word, against horizons. And then we'll get the, the um, horizons, um, wherever the hell that is. Yay. God damn, I create too many windows.
this really isn't a separate point, but if you do test against horizons, be sure to... Oh, actually, I can't copy all these settings. Uh, okay. Okay, la 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 Okay. Um set Femorous type two Okay now I can add this word in because assuming NASA's not gonna misspell spell it. I think that didn't do what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, coordinate, okay, time origin. And under table settings, which sounds like something you would do when guests are coming over. Um, Output units to comma and reference plane. Can I want to say that I, you can combine these and I don't know if that's true. Somewhere I have the output of like something that I ran with a whole bunch of them all at once. Um, like think it would have this expression in it. No, it would have actually this in it. Once again, we should probably have done a uh, grep minus L there. Clear, 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 oh shit. B colon reset. No. Well, actually, I think I've broken this now. Nah, I guess we're fine. Okay, um, let's grep minus L, please. Um, Chebby Chef Info... No, oh, that's not helpful. Okay, we have broken this. Let's go ahead and get out of this window. And hopefully the remainder of our windows have... Oh, they have been affected. The whole X term is gone. Oh, let's do a hard reset, actually. Um, do Let's do a soft reset. That didn't do anything. Hard reset. I want a full reset. There we go. Okay, so that should have fixed it. And I think I lost something in the process, namely... Um, okay, so crep 1, 2, crep minus L, 1, 2 star. Somewhere in here I do have a um, pipe to less. Somewhere in here I actually do have... Um, I know I, I, I dumped something and I made a note of how I dumped it. Uh, but not a very good note, because I can't find it now. Um, Coef to math? What was it? Some of these things are like truly weird. So also we have like... Aha! Oh, maybe it's this one. Ah! No, that's 
seps. That's not what I want. Ah. Um. Wow. Um. Yeah, no idea what the hell that is. Okay. God damn it. I hate it when I know I've done something and I can't... Because I remember actually creating this, like, file that I put onto Files Anywhere. It was a, um... Um... I think I might... Okay, hang on. It might have been... I might have been using Dump for this. Oh. Um... And there we go. Um... Uh, dump out file. Out file equals BC kernels daily. And converts them into MX format. So now what's interesting here is... Oh, pause XYZ. Something tells me I am not defining pause XYZ anywhere. Uh, I am, of course... Oh, Jesus Christ. Chebs and Pearl. Something else entirely. Um, so I guess I've got the question now is in this thing that I'm giving this guy, which I'm beginning to think I shouldn't give this guy. Um, do I define... Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, actually, let's do this. Uh, I think I do define that if you're looking at two different planets, it just subtracts the zero positions of them. Uh, right, pause. Target center W equals... Wow. Okay. Okay, I'm sick to death of this. I do need to update this a little bit, but I'm... I'm I'm lost in the morass. So I will go ahead and uh, stop the stream for now. Thank you for watching. If, th if you were listening on Discord, thank you for listening. And um, if you were annoying me in Discord, thank you, because that does make me stronger. All right. Thank you for watching, and goodbye for now.